Hey guys, this is Tomaj with Principia. In this video, we are going to work on a practice math essay problem from the Thomas Jefferson School of Science and Technology, second round SIS essay exam. Here's a question. How many times a day do the minute and the hour hands of a clock overlap? Find an equation for the problem and then solve it. We can think about this problem in terms of a running race between the minute and the hour hands of a clock one running faster than the other and therefore catching up with it several times over the course of the entire race. Let's call the minute hand Mike and the hour hand Henry. To answer this question, we need to find a relationship between the number of laps ran by Mike, number of laps by Henry, and the number of overlaps. And we are going to record that information in this table to see if there's a pattern in there. Let's go to the clock and see what's happening in the first lap. The race starts at midnight. Mike is going to run ahead and make its first lap. When it finishes its first lap, Mike ends up at the same location while Henry is still going forward. So within the first Mike lap, there is no overlap. Let's write that information in our table. I'm going to call the first column, the mock laps, and relapse in the second, and the number of overlaps go in the last column. So first lap or mic, there's no overlap. But how much did Henry go forward? Well, within one full mic lap, Henry sweeps a five minute slice. Now there's 12 five minute slices in one full 12 hours. So the number of Henry laps would be one twelfth of the number of Mike laps. Now let's go to the second lap for Henry and see what's happening there. Now after Mike finishes one full lap, it's going to catch up with Henry at about, I would say, 105. Now that's the first overlap which is happening in Mike's second lap. So here we have our first overlap and then Henry has swept about 2 twelfths of uh, a Mike lap. Now the same thing in the third lap for Mike we're going to have our second overlap which will happen about maybe 315 close to that number so we're going to have our third mic lap, there's going to be our second overlap, and then of course the numbers go forward, we're going to have 3 twelfths of the lap, and now in any additional lap by mic, there's going to be an overlap. The only place we didn't have an overlap was from midnight to 1 p.m., which is the first lap. Now what's happening in the last lap within the first 12 hours? before which they're going to end up at the same location. Let's see. The last lap would be from 11 to 12. So Mike is here, Henry is here, and once Mike finishes its first lap, they're going to meet up exactly at 12. So they had the first, they had the last overlap right at this point, which is going to be the two of lap for Mike. And as you see the relationships, the number of overlaps is one less than the number of Mike laps. So we're going to have 11 overlaps within the first 12 hours. And in, in the Henry column, we're going to write 12 out of 12, which is one, which makes sense because in 12 hours, Henry will finish its first full lap. Now, <clears throat> after the first 12 hours, where they meet up at exactly 12, the next 12 hours is going to look exactly the same. You could pretend as if the game restarted. So again, from 12 to 1, there's going to be no overlap. And then in any additional lap for Mark, there's going to be one overlap. So if you know that within the first 12 hours, or each 12 hours, there's going to be 11 laps. Within the first 24 hours, it's going to be 11 and another 11, which is 22 overlaps for 
three 12 hour periods, we're going to have 33 overlaps. So this is going to be 200 laps here, 300 laps here, and uh, now you could see a pattern happening here that if you represent the number of mic laps as x, I write it here. The number of Henry laps would be, as you see along the column, one twelfth of the number of mic laps. And now, the number of overlaps, if you follow the pattern, would be always the number of mic laps minus the second column, which is the number of Henry laps. And that's the equation we've been looking for. It gives us the number of overlaps in terms of the number of mic laps, which is also the number of hours per day. And let us answer the problem, which was asking for the number of overlaps in one day. Now, one day consists of 24 hours, and remember, x representing the number of mic laps is also the number of hours. So x for this problem would be 24. Plugging the number into our equation, we're going to get 22 <coughs> as the answer. Using our equation, we see that there is going to be 22 overlaps within one full day between Mike and Henry, which are representing the minute and the hour hands of the clock. So 22 is our answer. Now that you've solved this problem, to prepare for the exam, practice writing a five paragraph essay about it. For more information about our TJ Prep program, check out our website or send us an email. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.